Now I know that snake plant is on a list of like pretty much everyone's list of the easiest plants to take care of, but we can still have issues. And I don't want you guys to feel embarrassed about having any issues with your snake plant because we are here to fix them. So your snake plant's going to look beautiful after this. Okay, so I wanted to start off today with my uh, one of my snake plants. I got it on clearance from a <laughs> store that I will not name. Um, I, I bought it on clearance and it, it is in bad shape. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that is wrong with it and a couple reasons why snake plants don't do well. Now, to start off my snake plant here, let me show you. Let me just show you what's going on. Okay, so here we have this wonderful snake plant that is falling over. Obviously, it's falling over and it's got some brownness here and it's just, it, it's not looking good. So first off, the thing is that this pot is too big. Okay, snake plants like to be root bound and it, the fact that I can fit my whole hand in here around this comfortably means that the pot is too big. You want to keep your pot just a couple of inches outside of your snake plant. So if your snake plant's here, just have a pot just a little bit bigger. Don't have it, don't have it where you can fit your whole hand around it. That is too big, too much soil. You're not going to uh, be successful with your watering. You're gonna have overwatering issues like crazy, even though it has good drainage, it has drainage holes, it has good soil, it's just too big. So think about maybe potting it down. So I wanted to talk about first brown spots. Sometimes you can get brown spots on your leaves and that is a sign of too much water. That's one of the early signs of too much water. If it's just brown spots, you're still doing okay, but definitely lay off the water or like in my case, go to a smaller pot. <laughs> make sure it has good drainage, make sure it has a good draining soil. Okay, the next problem that is kind of common with snake plants indoors is brown leaf tips. So you can see kind of right here, we've got a little bit of uh, brown leaf tips. This has got a little splitting too. Okay, the splitting, let me see, got a little splitting here too. You see the splitting happens because of just damage to the leaves, like knocking it over, just heavy traffic, might brush against it, hit against it, different things like that. It isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's more just aesthetic at that point. Now your brown tips though, on the other hand, that is usually just a lack of humidity. Put it in with a room with a humidifier, or if you group it with other humidity loving plants, like different ferns and such, then um, it will help but indoors it's just not very humid. And it's not the end of the world, honestly. Um, it's just a little aesthetic, but your snake plant will not die if it has a, a few little brown leaf tips, okay? Um, you can trim it off, but don't trim it past that brown section. So don't trim it down here, for example, because then it will have to callus that section again, and it will just have another brown tip there and then you'll just keep keep going further and further down until you don't have leaf. So <laughs> make sure that when you trim it that you leave a little bit of this brown section here because that will leave the little seal on that plant. Okay, and then next if you have broken leaves. Broken leaves uh, can be a couple of different things. First, it can be just damage from something hitting it. But if it's something else like, let me show you this wonderful guy. Okay, if your plant looks like this, you're in trouble. <laughs> Broken, right? Broken. Uh, we've also had the term sagging. If your leaves are sagging, right? This is water damage to the extreme. Let me show you some some yellow sections. So if you can see it, the skin is kind of like bubbly almost. Okay, you see that kind of skin that's kind of on top there. 
Um, that is actually because there is too much water in this leaf. So this is overwatering. Now, if your leaves are just falling over or droopy like mine are, let me show you this again. Let me come down here again. So if like this guy, this guy is kind of falling over, but this isn't because of overwatering. Okay, so this guy is actually healthy, but the problem is, look how many roots he's got there. That's not much. So in this case, the problem is that he just does not have the root system to support himself. So this leaf just needs to root more. So like a small pot, some sand mixed in, a stake, hold it up, and then have some great drainage so that I'm watering consistently like every couple of days but it's drying out still in between each watering. And then the last thing that could be causing it is it could also be overwatering. But let me show you what that looks like, okay? So here we have a leaf here, and it, it looks normal. It doesn't look like the last one, right? It's totally great. But you can tell down here, just right at the base here, Okay, right at the base here, we've got that rot, the root rot, the overwatering. This is definitely the watering issue. Next is if your leaves are turning black or brown. Now I'm gonna go back to this one here. Now it isn't quite brown or black yet. It's definitely a yellow, but as this will go, this leaf, you can see a little bit right here is starting to get a little black here along this edge here. But if your snake plant is black, then it's way too late. <laughs> it's been overwatered. Um, you're def you definitely have some bacterial issues there. Save what can be saved if there's any portion left. But black is a sign of overwatering. Now brown, there's a difference because this is kind of like a yellowish, right? A yellowish brown that's overwatering. If it's like dried brown, like here, like this leaf here has got this dried brown section, that is too dry. It'll kind of crinkle up. It'll crinkle up, get hard. This guy is squishy and soft, too much water, <laughs> dry, <laughs> um, crispy and brown is too dry. See, I can just rip these sections off. Crispy and brown is too dry. Okay, so at some point, this plant got a little too dry. Like I said, because it's on that leaf tip, I think it's just a humidity thing, like too little humidity, just a little too dry. If you have entire sections looking like that, then I would water it a little more frequently. But like I said, your snake plant will also kind of look a little shriveled. Uh, not, not your fat, squishy shrivel, but kind of like, kind of like a cactus kind of goes in a little bit. It'll kind of be like that a little bit. It'll, it'll shrivel a little bit um, as that water is used up and it doesn't have as much in its leaves. But then it's time to water again. It's much better to have this than to have this because there's no coming back from this. I might be able to save a section here, maybe. Um, this guy definitely. If you just have the tip that was too wet, cut it past that section, cut it, uh, dry it out, let it seal that cut for a couple of days and then put it in some water, propagate it. Okay, so I hope that you liked this video. If you want more videos like this, just focusing on troubleshooting, on different signs that your plants are showing, go ahead and say so in the comments below. Let me know that you like this style of video, that you wanna see more, that you're having issues with your plants and you want more troubleshooting. If you like this, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button so that you don't miss any future episodes. So if you still have more questions past this video, go ahead and leave them in the comments. 
Also, another thing I have is you can join the Facebook group, House Plants for Plant Killers. I'm in there all the time, and you can leave pictures and a little more description about what's going on, and I can help you out in that group. So good luck with your snake plant, and see you in the next video. That is because they get those, the coconut shards, or the, kind of the, the outer hair of the coconut. Is it the hair? Coconut hair? Anyways, and they shred it.